Aha, there you all are. A very, very good evening to you. It's me, Scotty McClue, the world's top broadcaster and first lord of the internet. And we are, of course, live on Facebook Live, the world's top broadcasting platform. Lovely, lovely, lovely to be with you. One hour of superb scintillating information, education and entertainment for not just one nation, but for all nations, of course, with me, Scotty McClue, the world's top broadcaster, saying dinky-doo just for you. Now, we've only got an hour. We've so much to talk about tonight, so make sure you make it an absolute cracker. And when I say you make it, it's you who make the show. Come on and have a chit-chat. Don't just sit looking. Actually, get yourselves on there. There's Julianne Scott saying hello. Hello, Julianne. Dinky-doo. Lovely to have you with Scotty McClue tonight. And uh, who else have we got? Oh, my goodness me. So many of you coming and joining us. Now, it promises to be an absolutely packed program, folks. We'll have lots and lots of shares. Also, I don't know if you managed to catch my funding video. Trying to raise 1,500 quid won't bore you with all the details, but if you can stick a pound, two pounds, or three pounds into gofundme.com forward slash Scotty hyphen McClue, that would be fabulous. And uh, who have we got? Good evening, Scotty, says Steve Burrows. Good evening, Steve. Dinky-doo to you, and lovely to have you with us. Michael Paul McVeigh. Good evening, Scotty. Good evening to you, Michael Paul. Natasha Jane, hello. The lovely, generous Natasha Jane. Dinky-doo, I say. Mark McCormick and Brian Keswick, come on. On you guys come. Don't be... Don't be shy. Don't be hiding in the shadows. It's your Uncle Scotty here, and this promises to be a fantastic program. Now, silly old thing here. Accidentally deleted last week's broadcast. So, see, there's about 1,500. You can add another 7,000 to that. So, about 8,500 will have seen us last week. Fantastic. Plus, there's thousands and thousands watching everything that does the rounds. And on Twitter, we're fetching, you know, 10, 15,000 a time. So we're talking huge, huge broadcasting figures here, guys. This is a massive, massive success. Good evening, Scotty. Hello, Scotty. Did you do, Scotty? How are you doing, Sir Stephen Weymouth? Are you familiar with Big John and a bottle of wine, Sir Joseph? No, I'm not Joseph. Uh, hi, Scotty, again from Dublin, Sir Gordon Ritchie. Paul McLaughlin, Scotty Rocket. Hello, Paul Rocket. And uh, Angela Sutherland, did you do? Robert Devlin, hi, Lord. Hi, Robert. Lovely to have you with us tonight. Fantastic stuff. What an amazing week has been. What's the weather like? Up and down, snow, ice, beautiful, soft, mild, all that kind of stuff. And uh, I don't understand it. Hola, Scotty, says Jav Salim. Hola, Jav, dinky do. Richie McCusker, come and talk to us, I say. Stephen Dorkey, marvellous. Hi, Scotty from Shetland, says Angela Southern. Now, Angela, are you up in there on holiday? Are you up in business? Or are you a Shetlander? I say, are you from Lerwick? Because uh, I want to hear all about Uphelia. You've just had Uphelia, and that is tremendous. A lot of you might know what I'm talking about. A lot of you won't. And uh, PJ Curry's watching Dinky Doo. Howdy two days, Scotty. Dinky Doo, my good chum. Looking forward to another eventful show, says Stephen Dorothy. Stephen, we could promise you that. Can I have some hearts, please? Some thumbs up, some well wishes. Come on, you lot, get on. Hearts, 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 hearts. This is my story, this is my song. Blessed assurance there. And um, Osikani B. Akwasi Bronzi is here, says, Hi, Scotty. Hi, Osikasi. Uh, lovely to have you with us. Yes, I was at the Lerwick up Helia. Still recovering, says Angela. Were you visiting Angela or are you a local? More hearts and thumbs up. Come on. Lots and lots of that. Hurry up for Scotty McClure. Excellent stuff. Now, uh, who have we got here? Stuart Buck and Dinky Do, Michael Yule, lovely to have you with us, Val Irvin, Dinky Do as well. You can all come on. This show is about you. 
It looks as if it's about me, Scotty McClue, but I am already the world's top broadcaster and the first lord of the internet. So it's not actually about me, it's about you. Like I used to say when I did the big radio phone-ins, people say, talking, talking all the time. So it's about listening. I was killy, killy yesterday, Scotty in the hips, says Stephen Dorothy. Did you have a killy pie from the bakers? Fantastic. Sorry I'm late, Scotty. I've been out looking for people wanting independence down to 35 percent now is that just in your village sandy so there you are excellent stuff so that means 65 percent want independence and of course we've got brexit you see brexit's put it on the on the um the slow cooker at the moment sandy but, but watch this space as you know i am no political animal as you know i am no scottish nationalist but what i am is a man who realizes that scotland would do very well on its own administering its own affairs have been run by scots all right mark dodds is watching paul sefton dinky do and uh, hi scotty it's chris from methyl in fife i know methyl very well yes a lovely part of the world the roads could do with a wee bit of a um, a change, I think, actually, but uh, but fantastic. I mean, Fife, Fife Roads, you know, I mean, that's what it's about. Otherwise, you'd attract so many people in there. Uh, not hearts, hearts, says Stephen Dorothy. Now, lots, lots of hearts from you guys. Fantastic. That's lovely. Thumbs up. Scotty McClure, if you've just joined us, a very warm welcome. You're watching the First Lord of the Internet, the world's top broadcaster, and we are, of course, live on Facebook Live. Spread the word. Start to share, 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 share. Tonight, I've got a topic I want to discuss with you. Should we ask the mobile phone companies to mute young people under the age of 16 to mute their phones at nine o'clock in the morning and uh, put them back on at three o'clock in the afternoon. What I'm thinking, you know, you hear so much about education, but I'm thinking if young people were not allowed anywhere near the phones, then their education would go shooting up. There you are. I agree with you about independence, especially with the Prescott fiasco in Westminster, says Angela Sound. Angela, just look at them for goodness sake. The signs are not just there. It's quite clear that a lot of these Brexiteers could not run a bath, far less a country or a project. And you're looking at one of the country's finest project managers here. So there you are. I always deliver. All right. Shug Plunk is watching. Did you do, Shug? Uh, psst. Do I need a TV license? As this is live, Douglas McPherson. No, you don't, Douglas. This is Facebook. This is social media. This is nothing to do. This is the new TV. This is the way people will be receiving their television. Think of anything on any of the big television companies that actually beats Scotty McClue live interacting with the public, interfacing, customer facing, big style. That's what we like. Gregor Gillespie, dinky-doo. Jane McDonald, the lovely Jane McDonald's watching. How wonderful. Martin Rowe. Martin Griechen. Rab Bruce. Come and have a chit-chat. It's Scotty McClure and, of course, live on Facebook Live right now. This is the big one. This is the one everyone's talking about. This is the one everyone is watching. Now, I'm going to do some sharing, guys. See if you can do the same. So I'll just be looking away just I'm surrounded by the latest equipment here fantastic stuff could always do with buying a little bit more as you know I put thousands and thousands of pounds into broadcasting over the years but um, what we'd like to do is um, increase the equipment for this program so there you are so that would be fantastic Gregor I couldn't possibly comment and Ingalls dinky do Louise Gamels here Steve Burroughs if you took the phones off the kids They'd be lost. It's all they know. Yeah, but I mean, we're talking school time. They're being taught, for goodness sake. So there shouldn't be any access to phones. And, uh, you know, in case they do it on the fly, not that I'm saying young people are fly, but if they did it on the fly, if the phone company said, no, no, that's it, they're down, nine o'clock, finished, gone, and they're uh, back up in the afternoon. That would be wonderful. That's what I say. Um, I think it would be great. So there you are. Tell us what you think about that. I'm just going to do some sharing. Uh, Julian McKenzie, Dinky Doo. Yes, I agree with phones being muted. Kids should not have phones at school. 
says D. Guriano, but the parents want them to in case there's an emergency. But you could have a emergency access only, because I've had that on my phones. It says, uh, oh yes, an emergency, oh yes, no problem at all. And you can actually have your phone, so there we go. Uh, you're going to get a wee live phone in going on Facebook, that would be brilliant. In actual Yay! fact, if you want to call me on Messenger, then uh, do feel free to do so. I'm just sharing, guys. So can you all do the same thing? And share, 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 share. We're um, a little bit sharp off the mark with that one tonight, but I want to get that one out there. And that's gone. And then I'm going to share to a page. So there we are. Sorry, my face looks a little bit on the big side just now. The large face, the big pus. Excellent stuff. If you've just joined us, a very warm welcome. <coughs> so there you are. SNP been borrowing plenty, Scotty. Five billion debt. The SNP can't borrow, Sandy. So there you are. So you've made that one up. That's what we call fake news. Your fake news. There we are. Did you like the old, uh, the old trumper there? Um, so the five billion um, will be down to Westminster, Sandy. So there you are. Scotland does not have any debt because Scotland could not borrow in a fiscal way. All right, have you got that, Sandy? Just as well I'm here to keep your education up, chum, isn't it? Excellent. What a state you'd be in. My goodness me. Right, I'm just moving on to the side, guys. I'm just going to share this as well. Uh, I'll share this on the Scotty McClue page. It's pages that we manage. Are you all... Uh, I'll just put live now, okay? Live now. There we go. And, uh, in fact, what I'll also do... Here we go. I'll pop on a wee bit of that. Oh, that looks glow. 9 p.m. It's the new TV. That looks just fantastic. Right. That's gone on to Scott McClure's page. And I will also share in the group. We've got 4,000 members in the group, guys. Uh, some kids should be muted. Scotty says Michael Paul McVeigh. Phones are not allowed in workplace, so should certainly be banned in schools. There should be an emergency facility with a contact number, should there be an emergency, says D. Gourley. And quite right you are too, my dear. Um, Murray Ravage, lovely to hear from you. Evening, boss, dinky-doo. Evening to you, Murray, boss, dinky-doo to you as well. I, I can just like that. So there we are. There you've got a like there. That shows it's live. Murray, how fantastic is that? We'll just do that, and then we're going to share again, and this time we're sharing to the Scotty McClue group. So everybody will get that there. How fantastic is that? There we are, sharing a group. Oh, I love it. And uh, Scotty, there we are. You should just be able to press a button here. There's one or two little changes I would probably make just to get everything going. But there we are. Excellent. And that's going off to the group now. Wonderful stuff. Thank you, do. Shirley Cooper, come and join us. Bobby McLaughlin, lovely to have you with us. If you've all just joined us, you're watching Scotty McClue, the world's top broadcaster, the first lord of the internet, and we're live on Facebook Live, one of the world's top broadcast platforms. We used to make our own entertainment without technology, says Steve Burrows. Absolutely, Steve. You can go out and have a game of hopscotch. Uh, just now, and uh, I remember uh, somebody said I had lost a lot of weight, and I said, well, I skipped breakfast, dinner, and tea, and uh, he said, is, do you think it's the lack of food that's making you lose the weight? I said, no, it's all the skipping. There we go. Evening, Governor, says Bobby McLaughlin. Thank you, Bobby. It's Stephen Weirmouth. You seem a lot better tonight, mate, full of beans. Yes, and a wee touch of the cold. If you watch my video that we made last night um, for the GoFundMe, so it's an appeal for funding. We're trying to raise 1,500 quid in the short term. Uh, we're obviously hoping to raise millions for Scottish broadcasting. But that's further down the line. I had too many idiots um, who were actually, and believe it or not, they were yes idiots that were going, oh, no, no, I wouldn't have given him anything. All these dafties who don't understand how... The world works. William Rose, dinky do, lovely to have you with us. Scotland's taxpayers have been saddled with interest charges totaling five billion after the SNP maxed out the credit card on public building projects. Sandy, have you any idea just about all these public building projects? I think you'd be chewing your words for your cereal if you really knew what was going on. Remember, for some reason you're anti-Scots, right? And you're anti-Scotland. 
and I never ever understood that. I can imagine an old Labour buff like yourself, uh, you know, being a wee bit anti-SNP, because you couldn't get a fag paper between the two of them. At one point, the SNP and Labour were interchangeable, because Labour actually started the SNP. Uh, from that point of view, Sandy. So there you are, a wee bit of history for you there. But the chairman of the Labour Party that started the Scottish National Party, and the Scottish National Party struggled for a long time. But um, for some reason, you're actually anti-Scots and anti-Scotland and anti-yourself, and I don't understand it. So there you are. Hi, Scotty Dinky Doo, says Gerald Mackay. Lovely to have you with us. Gordon Drysdale is there. Stevie Wood, Dinky Doo. I grew up, Scotty, listening to you, says Jerry Mackay. Yes, indeed. Paul Kyra, hi, Scotty. Send me a link to send your PayPal payment for your appeal. Go on, everyone. Get helping. Even a pound, two pounds, three pounds. If you think about it, I'm looking for 1,500 quid. If uh, one person sent me 1,500 quid, we're sorted. If 1,500 people send me a quid, then we're sorted. That's more likely. If 500 of you send me three quid, we're sorted. And um, if 750 of you send me two quid, then we're sorted. So that's the kind of level we're talking at, guys. So if you can get yourself onto paypal.me, right? Paypal.me forward slash Scotty McLeod, all one word. That's it. I don't need to send you la. Uh, that's it there. Scotty's the man, says Jordy Grieve, dinky do. So uh, Paul Kyra, thank you very much. But you'll get both links at uh, scotty mcleucom uh, you'll see them up on the website there, scottyivanmcclue.com. Good try, Scotty. Just no good enough, though, says Sandy. Sandy, you're not just good enough, right? You don't want to be against yourself, right? Okay, always work in your own favour, Sandy. So there you are, an independent Scotland. Then we could maybe look at putting your Labour lot and all the rest of it. If your Labour leader had actually turned round to Gordon Brown and um, David Cannon and all the rest of them, and said, listen, uh, just so they were going it alone. We'd have been independent now, we'd have been on a winner, there would have been none of this Brexit nonsense. So there you are. So it's not just a good try, Sandy, it's common sense. Gordon Stelly's watching Dinky Do. As soon as I can help Scotty, I will. General Mackay, do not worry, it is not a problem. Uh, tell me the Rangers died and I'll send you 20 pounds, says Georgie Grieve. The Rangers just have not died, Georgie Greaves. So I'm sorry. I have forfeited myself with twenty pounds, but I could never sell out one of Scotland's big teams. I wouldn't even say that about the Celtic either, or the Hibs or the Hearts. So there you are. So I'm sorry. I'll have to remain uh, in popularity, popacity, popacity. Uh, James Muir, dinky do evening all, says Daniel Roberts. Welcome, Daniel. Lovely to have you with us. If you've just joined us, a very warm welcome. You're watching Scotty McClure, main subject for discussion tonight. Should we ask the mobile phone companies to mute young people's phones under the age of 16 between 9 o'clock in the morning and 3 o'clock in the afternoon? Eric Kenzie, Spike Nesmith and Brian Murray, dinky do. Now, Spike Nesmith is one of our finest broadcasters right across America and Virginia in America. Am I right, Spike? And um, he interviewed me, two grumpy critics, him and Paul, um, his uh, partner in broadcasting. Uh, they interviewed me, so you'll see it. Uh, Scotty McClure interviewed by two grumpy critics. You'll get it on the YouTube channel. Barley Water tonight, Robert Devlin. Robert Devlin, can you see that? Is your monitor scanning? There's the Barley Water. Mmm. Oh, that's lush. I've also got a wee drop of tea in the seas of the day cup, you know, so we can even have a wee sip of tea. I'll mix the two, see how it affects my throat. I for sure, Scotty. I see so. So they ask us, Brian Murray. Calvin Allen, come and join us, dinky do. You're still the man, Scotty, says Johnny Greaves. So there you are, Johnny. Now, if you want to send me a pound, that would be absolutely wonderful, or two pounds. Uh, so very, very welcome, and you'll see it there. We're either uh, gofundme.com forward slash Scotty hyphen McClue. You'll see it all up on uh, the Facebook page. Or we are paypal.me. Uh, forward slash Scotty McClue, all one word. All right, excellent stuff. It's full of gin, Scotty, says Jordy Grief. How do you know, Jordy? Yes, I think they should, Scotty, and let them do their homework, says Gerald Mackay. Yes, let them do their schoolwork 
Excellent stuff. So we're talking about that. And also anything you ever want to talk about, guys, because this is the new television. No television company, either the public service broadcasters or the commercial companies, have cottoned on that this is the future. Customer-facing, interactive television. Scotty McLuhan, a Friday night for half an hour. Can you imagine it popping up on the commercial broadcast channel, popping up on the public service broadcaster? They've just appointed, the government has appointed a few days ago, a minister for loneliness. Now, one of the reasons people will be lonely is because you don't have the radio phone-ins at night. I can't remember anybody who couldn't come on to Scotty McClure in central Scotland, right across 2.2 million of a transmission survey area. And we had between 10 and 14% of the market at night. It's fantastic stuff. Have you seen Alberto recently? Says Robert. No, I haven't, Robert. I haven't been down. So there you are. Uh, what was the Hibs score, Scotty? Says Jordy. I don't know. I don't do the football on the program, Jordy. Good evening, big man, says the wonderful Spike Nesmith. Good evening to you, big man. You are an absolute top man. I thoroughly enjoyed that interview. Fantastic. You brought out the best in me. And, uh, and of course, Paul as well. You know, you've got to say hi to Paul. Um, I miss the radio phone in, says Brian Murray. I know what you mean. Absolutely. Now, what I'm saying is, feel free to try um, a call. We'll see if we can try a messenger call tonight. That would be rather good. That would be rather interesting. So if you're uh, around there and you'd like to come on, but make sure you're polite. Everybody misses the radio phone ins because it's real people talking real stuff. None of your reality television or none of your having to eat bits and pieces of some poor dead creature. All that sort of stuff. This is real television. This is one to one. No loud music, no distraction, proper production values, customer facing television. I know I'm not exactly an oil painting. You've got to put up with the big pus. But nevertheless, that's what I look like. If you've got a problem with Scotty McClure, that's your problem. Now then, uh, next it'll be the Minister for Silly Walks, says Bobby McLaughlin. Know that there is actual loneliness, there's no doubt about it. New co, got pumped, Scotty, says Georgie Grieve. Yeah, but you'll get them there. I mean, your alternative would be to, uh, you know, ask Celtic to take over Rangers and just have Glasgow United, one team in Glasgow. Would you like that? Mm -hmm. No, that's got you thinking. Uh, some dumplings on here, says Robert Devlin. Of course, you've got dumplings everywhere, Robert. Don't worry about that. Go to sleep, Jordi, says Paul Cara. Uh, if you take a call, it will come off the live feed, bud. No, I'll not be taking it on the broadcast device. I'll be taking it on another device. See, I'm not just an athlete, you know. I'm not as daft as I look, which is a very good job. Uh, so there you are. Maybe a little cheap TV says uh, Gerald Mackay. Well, yes, a talking head, but be great for commercial television. We'd probably build an audience of millions. So there you are. No chance, Scotty, says Jordy Grief. Why not, Jordy? You're talking about no chance of Scotty McClue live on commercial television or public service broadcasting, or you're talking about no chance of Glasgow United. That's what we should be looking at. Glasgow United, bring it on! Right, uh, who else have we got? Stuart McKenna, Dinky Do to you, Rab Hill, Jim Wilson and David Jones, lovely to have you all with us. And Dinky Do, I say, some very famous names in there, tremendous. Right, if you've just joined us, a very warm welcome. Uh, time for a share, can everybody share right now? Okay, very, very important. I'm going to try just one more share. I don't want to take up too much time. Uh, so there you are. So I'm going to try one more share right now, and I shall share uh, in a group. Fantastic stuff. Uh, if it'll let me do that, that would be tremendous. So there we go. And share in a group. Lovely, 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 lovely. And uh, we'll see what we've got here. Fantastic. Right. Um, so, yep, wonderful stuff. That one would do, wouldn't it? Um, in there. Tremendous. And I'll just share that we are live now. 
live and global. Fantastic. See if everybody wants to come and join us. That's been successfully shared. That is excellent. And I'll just do one more, guys. Uh, just with you right now. Tremendous stuff. I shall just share this one here. If you all get sharing, that's fantastic. Martin Park, dinky do. All right, Scotty, you sex bomb. I hope you're well. Thanks, Fab. Should Neil Lennon get the Scotland job, Scotty? Oh, we don't appoint on Scotty McClue's show. Sorry about that. So there you are. Um, but uh, I couldn't possibly comment on that there you go guys what about that am i not just the wee professional and uh, are you all sharing because uh, you should be and if you're not ask yourself why not so there we are and uh, i'll just do this one as well and that's lovely and that's gone to that good and if it'll let me do that fan fantastic right there we are excellent stuff right bit of sharing going guys now back to business as i say if you've just joined us i'm scotty McClue. if you're an alien life form from another planet and you never met me i'm the first lord of the internet and the world's top broadcaster we're here every sunday night on facebook live for one hour of superb saying information education and entertainment dinky do from me to you says ron stewart ron stewart you're great not like you to Hi, Scotty. I am not hiding. I am not hiding my light under a bushel. Uh, tell everyone if they send you a couple of quid, you'll do a phone in, says Paul Sefton. Yeah, but I need to get the platform. But feel free, try me on Messenger. See if you can get a hold of Scotty McClue. Try me on Messenger right now, and we'll see if we can uh, if we can actually take a call. That would be rather good. Uh, so there we are. Uh, do you watch the rugger? Says Julianne Scott. I do, Julianne. I watch the rugger. Land of our fathers. Fantastic stuff. Scotty, most people voted to leave the EU than voted for the SNP in the last general election. Are you crazy, Sandy? 38% of people, right? And was it 52% of people in the previous election so there you are so that's 90 percent of people voting for the snp between the two elections and uh, 67 uh, percent voted to remain so all you had was your 33 percent so wrong 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 i don't like having to tell you that sandy you need to start thinking before you post a lot of bunkum now then Scotty, Big Paul Free Paisley again, it's me, Re Leslie Simpson, the boys watching. We're getting ready for work tomorrow, says Paul Gordon. Dinky do, Paul. Lovely to have you with us. Can't call tonight, but we'll do one week, says Paul Sefton. Um, hi, Kevin, Mario and Hamilton. Top men, says Kevin Pearson. Tremendous. Out to Hamilton there. I was seeing uh, a lovely musician's done the Hamilton Mausoleum Suite. That will be outstanding. So there we are. Scotty, um, you need to come out, says Jordy Grieve. Jordy, I can't come out. The temperature's too low. I am just in my shut sleeves. So there you are. So I'm afraid I'm in the studio uh, for tonight. Uh, Jordy Grieve, Scotty, uh, no, I'm not gonna I'm not gonna come out with that, Jordy. I'm not coming out with that nonsense. So there you are. So there you are. I need to come out with some common sense, uh, you know, and uh, I'll always do that. Uh, keep you lot right. That's what I say. If you've just joined us, a very warm welcome. You're watching Scotty McClue. We're live on Facebook Live. That's the big one, the one everyone's watching and the one everyone is talking about. Now, Sandy, please, please, please always remain with me because I will teach you to talk sense all right so there you are uh robert rogerson did you do to you eddie doby senior uh jordy's a numpty says robert devlin um well he's certainly not terribly accurate robert let's put it that way charles mclaughlin's watching bless you did you do there's more snow to come i hear says gerald mckay so they're saying gerald yes there's talk of more um robert dry your eyes says jordy grief for goodness sake Jody, I, I don't know where your nonsense is coming from. Do you think Scotland should be independent, says James Muir? Yes, of course. I said at the start of the programme, I'm no politician, I'm not political, I'm not a nationalist. But of course, it would make absolute 100% common sense for Scotland to be independent, to administer its own affairs, 
to, uh, for Scots to be running Scotland. You see, the problem was Margaret Thatcher's pigeons have come home to roost. She robbed Scotland blind and took the money down to London and the South East um, to, to big up London. And of course, we lost, we lost our shipyards, our sugar houses, our fishing fleets, our... Um, our farming, all these sort of things just fell away. Every mine went at the same time. Uh, the steelworks went. All the tremendous productivity. And Scotland is now very, very productive again. Scotland is the larder of the United Kingdom. And, um, you know, the, all the top uh, people. There's Robert Devlin asking, how the wee fox is doing? Has he been back? Yes, I see him. Robert, not at all. Sorry, Scotty, I'm running a bit late. What have I missed? You missed the most fantastic first part of the programme tonight, Charles. Absolutely outstanding. Uh, Scotty, which number? My number you'll get it there on Messenger, and you can come on and give us the chat rap. So there you are. You'll get it on there. Scotty for Prime Minister, says Gerald Mackay. Yes, I'm not sure if I'd want that one. Did you see the minister? who had doubted the civil service. When I first heard him say all that, I thought, I can't believe it. You never, ever, ever, ever doubt the civil service. They are fantastic. They are the permanent government. They are the people who run the country for the politicians. The politicians do all the chit chat and what have you. And uh, I saw he had to get up and apologize to the civil service and to the House of Commons. Quite right too. Uh, so there we are. And uh, what do you think about Mother's Pride stopping making the square bread? I like the square sliced bread. Very, very nice. But um, if they are stopping, they've maybe made that decision. But I like a bit of a bit of plain Scottish bread. I can remember my father's best man who lived down in Southport. He'd moved to Southport for work to his family down there. And um, my father said, anything you want me to bring you when we're coming down from Scotland? He said, a bottle of water. And a loaf. <laughs> Pardon me. How fantastic is that? Sorry, I've got a wee touch of the, the chist uh, tonight. So I'll have, I'll have some tea. Seize the day. Mm. So there we are. George Leishman. Leslie Leishman. Dinky do, George. Wonderful. Shout out to Jack Stewart, says Jack McGarry. Yes, no problem at all, Jack Stewart. Dinky do from Scotty McClure. And all of us here live. You're a try us, Scotty. I'll give you that. Over a million Scots voted to leave the EU. Well, that means that uh, almost five million decided to stay, Sandy. So there you are. Under a million voted for the SNP in the general election. Sandy, you don't have to talk absolute nonsense. So there you go. That means that uh, still they are the biggest party in Scotland, Sandy. As I say, I'm not an SNP uh, person, but I'm just letting you know Fair's fair, and Scotland has never, ever, ever been so well run as it is now. So there you are. Tremendous. Uh, it's only bread. I like plain bread. So it looks like I'm going to starve, says Andrew Thompson. I'm sure you'll be fine. And uh, Mick Shields is watching. Dinky do to you, mate. Lovely to hear from you. Uh, SNP are on the way out. Scottish and George Grieve. No, I don't think so, Johnny. They've uh, done so much tremendous work. And there you are. But uh, there's, there's still a lot more to be done. Oh, here we go. Somebody is calling. Fantastic. So we'll see what we get here. Let me see if I can answer. Lovely. Hello, can you hear me? Just two seconds. Hello, can you hear me? Hello. Are you still there? No, I think he's gone. Yeah. But uh, phone me back. Excellent stuff. And we'll see mm -hmm. if we can take a call. Tremendous stuff. So there we are. Ah, hello. Hello. Phil. Can you hear me? Hello. Hello. Can you hear me? Hello. Can you hear me? We can hear you. Dinky you do. Phil. No, I don't think he's got it. Hello. Hello, can you hear me? Hello, Phil. Yeah, he's working away at his camera. He's through. He knows he's through. Can you hear me? Right, we'll have to say ta ta to you. So there we are. What a shame. Fantastic stuff. There we are. Now, he's not got that one at all. 
Okay. Hello? Can you hear me? Hello? No? It's away. Right. Fantastic. Excellent stuff, though. Somebody gave it a try, and you uh, can't beat that. God loves a trier. Uh, ask Alex Salmon, says Jordy. There we are. Um, who have we got here? Jordy, it was Nicola. Jordy, I'm not going to keep reading your name out, so there we are. Excellent stuff. You're sort of hijacking the program a wee bit tonight. For some reason, we can still hear this guy. Can you hear him? Hello? Hello? Can you hear me? He's whacking his microphone. We can hear him, but I don't think he can hear us. Hello? Hello? <laughs> can you hear him? Can you hear him at home? There he is there. Hello, talk to me. Oh, what a shame. Can you hear me? Yeah. Anyway, not to worry. We'll, uh, we'll, we'll have to let him go. What a shame. Fantastic stuff, because you're definitely there. There's no doubt about it now. What am I doing here? There we are. Oh. Right. We're back. Dinky you do. Now then. Uh, you can still hear him clattering around there. Fantastic. He's still... <laughs> Hello. Hello, Phil. Did you hear him banging away at the microphone? How brilliant is that? <laughs> so there we are. He's gone. Anyway, not to worry about that, but that was good stuff. Well done, Phil, for trying. You were actually through, but for some reason you can hear us. Hello, Scotty. A big wave from British Columbia in Canada. Jim Robin there. Excellent stuff. And uh, James Muir, you're talking out your rear end, Jody. There we are. How about a big shout out to the guys from Mars High in Airdrie from the 60s, 70s and 80s. A great bunch. And I know a few of them are watching. Says the wonderful Jim Wilson. Dinky do. Uh, Lona Smedley Hardy. Lovely to hear from you. Morse code, says Angie Thompson. Yes. He was saying, I think I think he'd got himself locked in in the in the messenger department. And he was banging to get out. <laughs> but we could hear him. I could hear him. Could you hear him at home? Because uh, we could hear him there. Andy McClellan, Dinky, do come and join us. It'd be lovely to hear from you. Lots of smiles from D. Gurley. Now, time for more shares, guys. So don't be timid. Share, share, share. Remember, this is your program. Although I'm up front here, that's really nothing to do with it. This is your program. And uh, how have I got this? I'm getting the full screen now. Tremendous stuff. Uh, so there we are, not now, there we are, and the collar's ended. And we can close that down, exit full screen. Right, that's that, he's away. <laughs> Tremendous, this is amazing, guys. We are really breaking stuff here. If you um, read back about Marconi when radio was starting and he was up this little... Um, bit of a mound in the middle of a field and uh, he, he he said to his mate he said if you can hear the broadcast drop the handkerchief and uh, he spoke into the microphone and the handkerchief went down and that was the start of radio how fantastic is that how incredible is that wonderful so uh, a shout out to Kirsty Sunderland family also to the players from Boris Legend Worldwide, who won the Tom Bell Memorial match on Friday. Also to Tom's Legends, who put up a good game. There we are, great charities. Uh, did you vote yes, Scotty, says Jordy. Uh, so there you are, yes, absolutely, not a problem. So there we go, very, very important. Now, uh, we're just going to do some more sharing. So uh, I hope you're... Uh, I hope you're sharing with us. Can everybody share, 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 share. Excellent. Right. Here we go. Sharing again. And um, are we sorted, Scotty? Says Steve Burrows. We're sorted. Yes. Fantastic stuff. We're absolutely sorted. I'm just doing another wee share here. And uh, welcome, Ali Brown. Ooh. Dinky do. Elizabeth Campbell. Lovely to hear from you. Come and join us. Gordon Stirling, Scotty McClure, come on now, show 73. The nation's desperate to hear you interact with the audience by way of a phone call. You're the master of the phone-in. 
please get this sorted. God, and I've put out an appeal. You're all listening there. So come on, somebody, give us a call. Uh, Kieran Tiller. Uh, so there we are. Nice to hear from you. Wilma Watts. Uh, she's watching Dinky Doo. Uh, lovely to have you all with us. Share, 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 share. If you've just joined us, it's me. It's Scotty McClue, the uh, world's top broadcaster and the first lord of the internet. And we are live. So there we are. Kieran Taylor's watching. Excellent stuff. There we go. I think he's just about to get get himself a wee ban. So there you are. If people are too silly, then what we tend to do, Johnny, is they get a wee ban. So that's it. We don't hear from them again. You know, if people are too silly, if people spoil the program for others, they get a wee lifetime ban. So there we go. Excellent. Right, keep your comments coming. We're talking about mobile phones. Uh, 73 shows have gone quick. So Steve Barrows, yes, show number 73 tonight, guys. And that is absolutely incredible. I don't know how many we will manage to do. Um, I'm wanting to uh, raise some pennies because I want to uh, see if we can expand the whole thing uh, and get on to other platforms as well. Um, George is from another planet, says Robert Devon. Yes, I think you're right, Robert. Um, it must be hard for you, Kieran, says Eddie Dobie Sr. What do you think of the new Glasgow emission zone starting this year? More than 70% of current vehicles on the road won't be able to drive into the city centre <coughs> without paying £20 in charges. Well, I shall certainly not be paying £20. I assure you, I shall take my old tower boiler and um, just uh, walk into the city. I'll go as far as I can to the edge and just walk in, but I shall certainly not be paying 20 quid. Uh, so there you go. If they want to empty the city, then just pedestrianise the whole thing. And that's it. I can remember a road you could quite happily go down, and one day we couldn't go down it. Uh, there were uh, police stopping us saying, no, 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 you can't go down there now. Buses only, and I thought, this is just a bit of bus lobbying. Um, that's a public street. We all own these streets, so it shouldn't be. We're not allowing you to go down a street. So there you are. It's uh, it's our city as much as anyone else's. Hi, Scotty. I tried getting your messenger, but you're not answering, uh, says Phil. Phil, I answered you and we could hear you. And you were banging about as if you were in some great big playroom or something like that. Thud, 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 thud. But we couldn't hear you on the microphone. You wouldn't, you wouldn't speak. I was talking to you, but you wouldn't speak back to me. But we heard you, and we got your call. Fantastic stuff. And you just got a bit fed up, and we saw you sort of doing your nut and everything. So there you go. Evening, Scotty, says Christine Dingo. Dinky do, Christine. Lovely to have you with us. You're watching Scotty McClure, and we're live on Facebook Live. That is the big one. Um, so there we are. What have we got? Angie Thompson. School's not helping about gadgets. My son sat, sat playing on a certain tablet all day in class. And their homework um, is all a certain website for it. So there you are. Interesting, yes. But I think if the phone companies just muted young people's phones from 9 o'clock sharp through until about 3 in the afternoon, it would make a great difference. Hey, kids use iPads in school for work, but yeah, they'll be on the school. Um, they'll be on the school Wi-Fi then, Robert. That's acceptable. Uh, so that's part of the school Wi-Fi network. I would have thought. So there we are. But then, what do I know? I say, Scotty McClure, I do have an IQ of 164. So there you are. I must know something. And um, what, what else have we got? Yes. Excellent stuff. Ban mobiles in schools. We didn't have them, and we turned out all right. So there you are. James Byers watching. Thank you, do James. Lovely to have you with us from the Taxi Owners Association up in Eastcote Bride. There, that is excellent stuff. And um, our schools banned phones because the kids were playing um, Pokemon on them. Says Angie Thompson. So there you go, Scotty. You're a bright, intelligent guy. Um, have you got a number to dial for a drink, says Rab. So there you are. I don't dial for a drink, Rab. So there you are. If I have a drink, I have one here. I have my um, barley water. Mm. Excellent stuff. You're right, Angie. Excellent stuff. So there you are. 
Uh, yes, it'd be good to have people phoning in, Scotty. Have a phone in show. Well, that's what I'm saying. Let's start it. East Kilbride represented, says Spike Nesmith over in Virginia in the USA. Tremendous stuff. Better late than never. Hello from James and Lindsay in East Kilbride Taxi Owners Association. Dinky do, says James Barrow. James, dinky do to you, I say. Marvelous stuff. Now, can you all tell me, does the new time of nine o'clock suit you? Because I notice a lot of people coming on nearer to ten o'clock. And of course, the Scott McClure phone in used to be ten o'clock, um, very often through until one. So there you are. Uh, if you're feeling generous, folks, and you can spare a pound, two pounds or three pounds, get yourself onto Scotty McClure's website at scotty-mcclure.com, www. Of course, scotty-mcclure.com, and you'll see two logos there, one for PayPal and one for GoFundMe. Stick a couple of pounds in. Excellent. Nine is fine, says Eddie Dobby Senior. Well, of course, you've got uh, a lot of people getting up early for work, Eddie, as you know, McClue's around about half past four or five o'clock as well. Uh, nine o'clock's better. Kids are in bed then, says Robert Devlin. Been trying to PM you, says James Bauer. Aha! Uh -huh. Well, you should be able to do that, James. Not a problem. Uh, I nine's better for all of us that have got early rises on a Monday, says Angie Thompson. Absolutely, Angie. I could not agree more, dinky do. If you're watching Scotty McClue, welcome, 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 I say. Can we have another share? Very, very important. Uh, nine o'clock's perfect, but an hour's not long enough, says Steve Burrows. Yes, we might look at it. I've been talking, I know I say this to you, but I've been talking to some very, very senior people in radio, and I think you will see a big shift. I think there may be another Scotty McClue phone in very, very soon that you can all have access to. But I'd like to see if I can sell the idea to the television stations. Yeah, they will panic, but if you look at it, major, major broadcasters have tried huge big names, and they make a mistake because they don't realise that a big name does not necessarily attract a big audience. It doesn't always work that way. And you can't get a much bigger name than Scotty McClue, a household name. So there you are. I might not be a Hollywood actor, but everybody in the universe knows Scotty McClue. Um, anytime you broadcast is good for me, says Cheryl Mackay. So there we go, fantastic. Neil Holgate, dinky do. It's a day off on the Monday. You could maybe do an extra half hour. So there we are. Oh, Scotty, you're back. I thought you froze and went out again looking for Indy, says Sandy Howden. Sandy, you wouldn't have to look very far in Scotland for independence, I'll tell you. If the vote came tomorrow, then it would be a definite. Yes, get out of all that mess. Um, I cannot see what you love about Westminster and London and Brexiteers uh, stealing from your village, running your country down to nothing so that people are starving. I don't understand. You're supposed to be um, a lefty, Sandy, so you should know that people shouldn't be starving, shouldn't be having to use food banks and all that sort of stuff. So there you go. Um, do you want the show Dapper and uh, the Black Magic Blue Bands at East Kilbride Art Centre? Oh, sorry. You want to show Dapper and Paul Gemmell and the Black Magic Blue Bands, East Kilbride, uh, Friday 9th of Feb, 8 quid, says James Bauer. So there we are. Here's Phil calling again. Let's answer. Hello, Phil. Hello, Phil. Can you hear us? Here he goes again. Here he goes. Here he goes, guys. Hello, Phil. Can you hear me? Dinky do. Hello. Hello. Can you hear me, Phil? Hello. Hello. Can you hear me? Hello, Phil. Hello. Can you hear me? Obviously not. Can you hear me, Phil? Hello. Hello. Can you hear me? I can't hear you. You can obviously hear me, but I can't hear you because I, I can hear a slight rattle on the phone. Ah, I can hear you, Phil. Fantastic Hello? stuff. Hello. But you can't hear me. No, there's no there's no audio coming through at all. Ah, that's a bit of a shame, but we we can hear you loud and clear. Hello. Hello? We can hear you loud and clear. 
Can I no, just... I'm sorry, Scotty. I think you need to buy yourself a new device. Can you hear me now? Ain't working. It ain't working. You can't hear me. Hello. Hello. Can you hear me? Have you got? Have you got? Hello, Scotty. Yes. Have you got the tablet turned up? Yeah. No, definitely cannot hear anything. You can't hear anything, Phil. Okay. No problem. Come back on and join us. There's no point in me talking to you if you can't hear us, bless you. Uh, but that was fantastic. Right, there you go. That is Phil. Hello. Hello. Can you hear me now? Hello. Can you hear us now, Hello? Phil? Hello. Hello. Hello, Phil. Yeah, we can hear you. Tremendous, but you can't hear us. Hello, my headset. I have a set it for line to mic only. Uh, no, I don't think so, Andy. I think everything's working fine. Hello, hello, Phil. Hello, here he comes again. Let's see how we get on here, guys. Hello, Phil. Hello, Phil. Robert Devlin says hi, Phil. Hello, hello, can you hear me now? Hello. Hello, can you hear me now? Can you hear Hello. me, Phil? Can you hear me? Can you hear me? Hello. Hello. Hello, Phil. Scotty, your technology ain't working. Maybe, maybe your technology ain't working. So there we are. Right. Hello. Hello, Phil. So there we are. Right, come back on, Phil. Not to worry. Forget that just now. And uh, I think your technology is not working. Working. Mine's working fine. Everybody can see me. Um, Hollywood costs twice the amount of Westminster Scottish Sandy. What nonsense are you talking? I have never heard so much nonsense in all my life. So there you are. Fantastic stuff. We subsidise Westminster to well over £40 billion a year, Sandy. That money could be spent in Scotland, rejuvenating towns like Paisley, Greenock, Kilmarnock, right? Stirling. Yes, Stirling's talking about having to close a museum because of council cutbacks. If we had that £40 billion, Sandy, all your pals would be working. So there you go. Think about it. Can you go past nine uh, and do something different? Why not just something different, says Rab? All oh, right. Uh, so there you are. Decent mic for £3.50 next day delivery. That's what to use. I've got a great mic there, Angie. My technology is working. Otherwise, how can you all hear me and see me? Uh, make sure your headset settings are set right, Scotty. Check your headset microphone. In bus. No, it's not, Paul. It's absolutely perfect. Uh, per head, Scotty. Catch up, will you? No, Sandy. You catch up. You need to actually start living in the real world and just stop making up myths. So there you go. If you want to write a book or something to entertain the wee ones, that's great, Sandy. But don't talk all these whoppers to me. I know my stuff. All right, remember that. SNP underspent in the last five years, Scotty. Well, yeah, maybe they're underspending a wee bit because they've been asked to cut back by Westminster, right? They can only do with what they're given. Uh, why don't you phone Phil, says Robert. Well, that might be an idea, Robert. There's an idea. Why don't I actually see if I can phone him? Uh, what have we got here? We'll close that and we'll see if we can uh, get him. I'll, I'll have a look at that. We'll look into that. Uh, where is Sandy getting his fake news from? Fake news, Sandy. Fake news. And uh, why don't you fulfill the role? Yes, we've done that one. Uh, sad that some think we're a stupid wee skint country. They've been taken in by the London media. Yes, Martin, you're quite right. The, Lon the media is very london orientated. right? Scotland has virtually no media companies of its own owned and run by scots independent of uh, of of england so there you are our radio tends to come from manchester or london uh, so there you are now um there are some local inserts but it's not owned by scots and run by scots uh, maybe you're needing to update your messages as angie yes it could well be that so there you go uh, peter mcgillian's watching dinky do peter lovely to hear from you and um, 
What have we got here? Yes, Martin, you're absolutely right. Alfred James Wright, Sandy knows his stuff. I'd always trust him, says Alfred. Yeah, I'd trust him to uh, uh, be fun on a night out or something, Alfred. But, I mean, he doesn't know his stuff politically. i tell you that. So there you go. He's just, I think he's been, he's been collecting the jokes from the crackers at Christmas and he's put them all together and slipped in political parties' names in the middle of it. Uh, so there you are. That's, that's what it sounds like to me, Alfred. So there we go. Right, how are we doing for time? We've got a few minutes left. Let's do some more sharing. Excellent stuff. A bit more sharing. And um, haven't given you a tune in the box tonight. Maybe give you a wee tune in the box. Would you like a tune in the box? So there we go. That'd be good for you. Keep you all out of mischief. <laughs> I turn the Scottish news off to the sports news. It's wrong. Nobody watches the Scottish news. Well, I tell you what I would do, Sandy. Uh, that, that's because it's not oriented to us, um, what's actually going on. So there you are. What we need is independent, completely independent Scottish news. Yeah. With uh, news editors that are pro and independent Scotland who can see what's actually going on. Uh, Scottish again, thank you do. Uh, sorry it's late, but good evening Scottish is Laird George Russell McFarlane. Laird George Russell McFarlane, welcome. I was just saying earlier, the nine o'clock suit everybody, because a lot of people tend to join us nearer to ten. The flag of Scotland played, says Paul Sefton. Yes, not a problem at all. Gives the red flag, Scottish, says Alfred James Wright. Yes, a long time, a hundred years. We've had the red flag in Scotland. What about that? Very interesting. Yes, in uh, in George Square. Another great show, Scotty, says Steve. Thank you, Steve. I think it's been a fantastic night tonight. And uh, spread the word. Tell 10 to tell 10 to tell 10 to tell 10. You're a bit lagged. You're stuttering, says Angie Thompson. A bit lagged stuttering. Have I stuttered, Angie? When did I stutter? Give me an example of what I stuttered. I love this show. Says James Barr. James, if you look at the whole of national television and radio, there is nothing to touch the Scotty McClue show, right? Nothing that's interactive and customer facing to this extent. Yeah, loud, loud music and stuff like that. Sorry, did I stutter there? I know. And uh, Angie was doing that as well. Uh, she was refreshed. Her page. Oh, so there you are, says Robert. Yes, so I see. So it's just the technology. Uh, very true, says James. Very true. Yes, absolutely. You won't get it, James, because uh, people are frightened of actually facing their customers. Have you noticed that? You try to get through and they say, oh, no, 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 we couldn't possibly put you through. Well, could you give me the name? Oh, no, we can't give any names. Could you give me the email? No, no, we couldn't give out email. What you need to do is write in. Right in, well, I mean, I don't have an address. Oh, we couldn't give you that. No, no, <laughs> there you go. All good now, says Steve, of course. <coughs> we'll PM you uh, tomorrow with some ideas, Scotty, says James. You meant the feed went a bit laggy for a minute there, says Paul Seven. I wondered if uh, Angela thought that McClue was lagged and was stuttering. I thought, oh, my goodness, I haven't noticed. I wonder if I'm losing the place. Um, when can we get a national Scotty McClue day? Says Robert Devlin. Yes, a local holiday for the national, a national holiday, I should say, for the national Scotty McClue day. And so there we are. Excellent stuff. Uh, time is getting tight, guys. So if you're coming on, let's hear a bit more. No, not you. The broadcast stutters a wee bit like you've got too many devices plugged in. No, Angie, each one's working independently. You see, I'm not as daft as I look, which is a good job. So each device is actually working independently of the other one. And I think the problem is that uh, the reason our chum couldn't get through there is his technology is not working. Um, you know, he uh, had the microphone and we could hear him and he should have been able to hear me because everybody can hear me right now. Even if Scotty, on late tonight, but I hope you're well, says Harry Marshall Sr. Yes, indeed, Harry. You've missed 
the most fantastic program tonight. Tremendous. Lol, your Wi-Fi bill must be expensive then, says Angie Thompson. But it's worth it, Angie. And if all of you would send me a quid, if I've got 1,500 of you to send me a quid, that would make a huge difference. So do look at PayPaling me a quid. Uh, hi, Scotty. Many fond memories of travelling home from my parents' house in Bonness. Ah, the borough of Barstuness. Uh, to old Kilpatrick on a Sunday night, 20 or so years ago, with you keeping my husband and I well entertained on the Gillian McKenzie. And Gillian, you've got um, what I can't see. It says see more, but I don't like to press it in case... I, no, I won't press it, because I lost the broadcast one night by pressing see more. Gillian, you're not an artist, are you, by any chance? So there you are. Do let me know. And um, because a, a lovely, lovely artist did a wonderful picture of Scotty McClue um, based on Rodan's The Thinker. And, um, you know, I, I haven't heard from her for many, many years. It's a beautiful piece of work. I should show you it, show you it some Sunday night. Um, hello, Angie, says Ron Stewart. Dinky do, marvelous stuff. So, guys, have a listen. Rather than me give you all just now, have a listen to last night's appeal for pennies. Um, you know, actually have a listen to it and say, yeah, no, I can spare Scotty a quid. That's not a problem. Um, who have we got here? I think your technology is bust, Scotty. I've tried a few times. I use Messenger every day. No, Phil, my technology is percent not bust at all. Otherwise, the people wouldn't be able to hear me. But we could hear you clattering around, but you couldn't hear us. That was all. Uh, so there you are. So I don't think anything's bust at this end, Phil. It must be something that you're not hearing there. Maybe you need to turn your speakers up and you would have heard me. Something like that. Um, Ned's here. Hello, Ned. Robert Devlin, Dinky Do. Uh, the National and uh, Bella Caledonia, two Scottish newspapers, says Eddie Doby Sr. Fantastic stuff. Yes, excellent. Um, probably a messenger setting or something, I reckon, Phil, says Paul. Yeah, it could be. I'm definitely not an artist. The painting sounds interesting, though. Yes, Gillian, and it was a lady from uh, from old Kilpatrick, um, if I remember right. I mean, it's a long time ago now. It's uh, about 23 years. Fantastic stuff. 23, yeah, 23 years. 23, 24 years. Wonderful stuff. And uh, and and she did that wonderful picture for Scotty McClure. She just turned up at the station one night and produced this amazing picture. Quite fantastic. Wonderful stuff. Guys, can we have another share? And then I shall have to push off. It has been a privilege as always being with you tonight. Thank you very much for watching. Thank you for joining into the show. Thank you for all your wonderful contributions. Um, thank you for your pennies, those of you who are thinking in, in PayPaling or go funding me for, uh, for a couple of quid. And uh, Jim Wilson, great show, Scotty. Keep up the good work. Tremendous Neil O'Gormley, dinky do to you. This is Scotty McClure saying have a fabulous week. Right, I'm going to sing you the song. Goodbye, everybody. Goodbye. Take care, everybody, as you go. Goodbye, everybody, of Weeters, they know, revoir, and achieve it. Have a fabulous week, guys. Take care of yourselves. Share and share and share. Night till next week, says Chris is at. Chris Dinky-Doo. This is Scotty McClue, who has left the building. Dinky-Doo.